Hello, my little friends from Mother Russia. And today we will talk about configuring Active Directory domain controller on Ubuntu Server 18. Uh, this is this will be a first video, and in this video we will install Bint 9 and uh, make initial configuration that we need to install Samba 4 and uh, provision our domain controller. There will be a few videos in this series, uh, five or six, and in the end we will have a Linux Active Directory Domain Controller provision it on Ubuntu Server 18 that will hold his uh, own DNS zone with Bint 9 DNS server and uh, there will be configured integration of DHCP server and DNS server so if any device in the network will obtain his network configuration from DHCP server, the DHCP server will send to the Bint 9 command to update the A record uh, and provide all necessary data to create it. The name of device, the MAC address of device and uh, the IP address. And everything will be automated. So let's continue. First of all, we need to authorize on our server. Uh, there are already configured server name and his name is AGDC1 and a static IP address. Here is our IP address. It ends with 100 and the subnet is 1. After you just install the server, you may need to upgrade it to the latest packets version from the repository. So here is few commands that you that will help you before that you can run before installation uh, and uh, in this tutorial I use latest uh, packages from the Ubuntu 18 repositories for Samba it's 4.7.6 and for Bint it's 9.11.3 it's uh, necessary to look at the, the at the version of the packets because in the Ubuntu 20, if you will try to apply this tutorial to Ubuntu 20, you will face with uh, with a problem that there in the repositories is uh, huge versions of all these packages, and just for now there are no working DLZ integration module uh, so if you will try to use this tutorial you will face with not working domain controller or particularly working par pa partially working and the main problem is that in Ubuntu 20 Samba already use new uh, approach of updating DNS zone. It updated DNS zone not with an update tool like Ubuntu 8 in Ubuntu 80, 
but uh, in Ubuntu 20, there are used uh, Samba tool to update the NAS records. And uh, this tutorial will not uh, be useful to configure the Ubuntu 20. So let's install Bint 9. After installation complete, it's uh, very necessary to check the version of packages 9.11.3. It's no problem is here will be 9.11.9 or even maybe 9.12 and something, but if here will be 9.16 uh, the integration may not work. Uh, after bint 9 has installed, let's check where bint stores his named conf uh, file. Here is the path edc bint. This path will be useful for us later. We will use it later. And let's look where the where bin stores his cache in the var cache bin directory. So we found the location of uh, named conf file. Let's look at it. From here we will need three files. Etc bin uh, named conf options and etc bin named conf default zones. We don't need to edit this file for right now, right for now. Uh, let's backup and edit named conf options file. Everything we will need to do now is just delete all the all lines from file and copy config from the article. Uh, later I will add uh, an English comments here, so there will no be a problem to understand what's written here. But it's just a translation of uh, English on the Samba Org examples. After we edited the named conf options, we need to backup and edit named conf default zones. Just the same, delete all lines and copy paste config from the article on my website. And uh, this is all we need to do in the first part of this tutorial. In the next video, we will install Samba 4 and provision domain controller. So after this step, we will be able to continue configuring of the bint 9. Uh, press like, subscribe, comment, ask questions. See you in the next video. Goodbye.